Today, we will tell you the story of a man who fell from space. On April 24, 1967, Russian cosmonaut Vladimir Komarov was descending from space to Earth at a speed of 144 kilometers per hour in a capsule. Due to the high speed and friction, his space capsule had turned into a fiery inferno. The temperature inside the capsule was rising, and Vladimir was shouting only one thing, the heat is rising in the capsule. And finally, boom, he crashed. After the crash, what was found at the site was this, an 80 centimeter long charred and melted dead body. But there's a twist here. This whole incident could have been prevented. In fact, the Russian space agency knew that Vladimir was going to die. And even Vladimir himself knew that he was going to die and would never come back. But still, why did Russia and Vladimir put their lives at stake? Well, let's find out. Vladimir Komarov, a Soviet test pilot, aerospace engineer, cosmonaut, and the man who fell from space. He started from a very humble beginning. During World War II, he had to work as a laborer to feed himself and earn a living. When an opportunity from the Soviet Air Force knocked on his door, Vladimir happily accepted it and never looked back. He became a key cosmonaut in 1959. But there was a little catch. He became a cosmonaut who could never travel in space. Due to his great skill and experience in mathematics, he gained entry to the space agency. Since he was older than 27 at that time, he was not allowed to go into space. But personally, he did not care much about this role. He knew that he was involved in every operation of space. And that's why, just by experience, sooner or later, he would definitely get a chance to go into space. He continued to apply for future space missions. Finally, on October 4, 1964, his application was selected for a space mission. He and his best friend Yuri Gagarin were chosen for the Soyuz mission, the first human spaceflight program to send three astronauts into space. There was a space race going on between the Soviet Union and the United States. They wanted to do something special to celebrate the 50th anniversary. Soviet leader Leonid Brezhnev decided to launch two freshly made spacecraft into space that year to celebrate and impress the whole world. So the mission was simple. Two spacecraft were going to be launched, Soyuz 1 and Soyuz 2. One astronaut was going to go in Soyuz 1 first, and then two astronauts in Soyuz 2 the next day. These two spacecraft were supposed to meet in space, and the astronaut from Soyuz 1 would transfer to Soyuz 2. Once he entered the Soyuz 2 spacecraft, the mission would be successful. But there was a major problem. Brezhnev wanted the launch date of this mission to coincide with the 50th anniversary, neither a day before nor a day after. When the scientists and astronauts heard this, they were shaken because at that time, not one, not two, but three launches had failed. The Soyuz spacecraft was not capable of carrying itself or any person into space. Many engineers even felt that there was a major fault in the design of the Soyuz. This meant it was clear at the time of the mission declaration that the scientists knew this mission was likely to fail. What the engineers, designers, and cosmonauts could clearly see, even the common people, Brezhnev could not understand. It is said that there were more than 200 problems in the spacecraft. He could only see one thing, that this spacecraft should be launched at any cost on the 50th anniversary even if it meant sacrificing astronauts. He wanted to prove that Russia was a superpower. This decision was condemned by every Russian and was called a reprehensible decision. As the space race was going on, Brezhnev could not resist the temptation. No one had the courage to oppose him. Everyone was dissatisfied with his decision, but no one could challenge his command. He executed it anyway. Yuri Gagarin dared to suggest postponing this mission, but Brezhnev ignored his words. In a fit of anger, Yuri Gagarin wrote a 10-page memo and gave it to the security agency KGB that could stop the mission. However, Brezhnev suppressed his officers under his power. Anyone who talked about making that report public faced demotion, firing, and even death threats. Yuri and Komarov had only one option left. They had to accept their fate and launch the mission. Before boarding the flight, Vladimir Komarov told his friend Yuri, I am not going to make it back from this flight. He was sure he would not survive, yet he boarded the spacecraft. You might be wondering why Vladimir Komarov boarded the spacecraft if he knew he was going to die. 
The reason was friendship. If Vladimir backed out, Yuri Gagarin would have to go instead. He thought, why push someone else into the mouth of death? Why carry the tag of a loser? That's why he boarded the spacecraft. But this friendship was not one-sided. According to journalist Yaroslav Golovanov, Yuri Gagarin came to the launch site on the day of the spacecraft launch and started demanding a spacesuit. Despite his many attempts, the authorities ignored him and did not let him join the mission. He was literally begging to go on this mission, but he was not given the chance. Finally, the Soyuz left Earth on April 23, 1967, at 12.32 a.m. After eight minutes of the launch, everything seemed to be going well. But as soon as the spacecraft was rotating in orbit, strange malfunctions began to occur. After the first orbit was completed, the solar panels failed. All the electrical appliances and the temperature control system shut down. The temperature fluctuated and the navigation system failed. The spacecraft could have gotten lost in the darkness of space. Everything was getting worse. But even then, there was one hope left. The Russian space agency could have launched Soyuz 2 and saved his life. Unfortunately, they did not. The Russian space agency canceled this mission, and Komarov's hope of survival became 0%. After a while, Vladimir started descending towards Earth's atmosphere in a capsule, but his heroic move only sped up his death. In the end, his parachute did not open. The final word that came out of his mouth was killed. His spacecraft hit Earth's atmosphere like a meteor, and boom, the rest is history. After investigating the crash site, officials found an 80-centimeter burnt body. Now, friends, we learn only one lesson from this true incident. Never make emotional decisions to show your ego or superiority. Think practically with a cool mind. In the end, Leonid's name was tarnished and he faced global criticism for this horrific incident. A noble person who wanted to do something for his country lost his life for nothing. What do you guys think? Thank you for watching.